This is the Ultra Human Ring Air and it is a smart wearable. But is it the future of smart wearables? Let's find out and get stuck right into the unboxing. Here it is folks, it has arrived. It is the Ultra Human Air Ring. Let's do a quick unboxing. Right, so I'll open this up. Nice premium packaging. And there is the ring. So we've got the ring. Some instructions and in starter guide. Charger base, and this will be the USB C to USB C cable. There you go. Right, with the unboxing out of the way, what we'll talk about next is the fitting. If you don't know your ring size, then don't worry, it's part of the order they will send you a free fitting kit. And within the fitting kit, there are 10 sizes to try out between five and 14. There you go. Now, they recommend that you put the ring on your index finger, but you can also put it on your middle or your ring finger as well. So you've got a choice of three fingers. So what to do is decide what finger you're gonna use, try some of these on, wear it overnight, bend your knuckles and just make sure you're comfortable with the ring on. Make sure it comes off with a little bit of resistance but not too much. Because what happens is, I don't know if the camera will pick up, but you'll see there that it's flat on the inside. This has to face on the inside of your palm area like so. So it's always on this side. So if the ring's too loose, that's going to spin round. It's not going to record your stats. So you definitely want a nice snug fit without it coming off or being too tight so yep get the fitting kit try all these on and see which one fits once you're happy with the ring size you then go back in and complete your order and then the ring is posted out to you the ring comes in five different colors the one you see here for the review is the titanium one it also comes in gold silver black gray and obviously the titanium one. So yeah, five colors to pick from. It doesn't matter which ring size you get, whether it's five or 14, they all have the same 24 milliamp battery, which gives you between five and six days of full use before it needs recharged. They claim six days. I find that's pretty accurate. I usually charge it between the five and the six days. These rings do have a scratch resistant coating. However, I wouldn't wear this weightlifting, and if you're into hiking like I am, I wouldn't use this if you've got a scrambly route or you're doing some rock climbing because the ring will get damaged. But for day-to-day -day use and hiking, it's absolutely fine to wear this. It's also waterproof up to 100 meters, so you can wear it in the shower or swimming. So the ring is compatible with your iPhone and also Android. To purchase the ring, it will cost you £329. There's also an engraving service, so if you want to put your name on it or your initials, that will cost £36 and you can insure it for £2 a month as well, but that's obviously optional. There is no subscription, so once you pay for the ring, there's nothing else to pay for. What we'll do now is we'll head over to the app and I'll give you a quick tour and just show you what to expect. So for here, we'll open up the Ultra Human app. You can see there straight away, it's a pretty snazzy looking app. In the top right hand corner, you'll see there you've got the little ring logo. If you just click on that, it shows me there I've got 21% battery left. You can check for new firmware, you can do a factory reset, soft reset, set up a new ring, all that sort of stuff. It's also got a locate my ring, so if you misplaced it, it just uses the Bluetooth and you can see there. You can tell that the ring is within half a metre distance of the phone. We've got your movement here. So you can see there, I've done 9,954 steps today. And if I look at my Garmin, that's at 9,620. So fairly bang on. Total 
Cal is burnt as well. We'll come out of that. You've got your stress rhythm, dynamic recovery, you've got your sleep. You can see there, there's some gaps. That's when I was in France a couple of weeks ago. I didn't bring the ring with me, just one less thing to charge. If you take a look at, say, last night, everything's looking pretty good. A little bit of HR drop. There's your heart rate there. To be fair, I've measured this with my, my pulse and it's pretty much bang on. Also ties in with the, the Garmin as well. So yeah, there's, there's plenty here and to be honest, I've not deep dived it enough, to be honest. I just use it for my sleep, my steps and my heart rate. You've got a zone if you create with your friends if you want. It's got other things like podcasts, workouts. I really need to deep dive this because this looks really good. I do Pilates myself, so this might show me some extra moves. It's easy to set up as well. When you first get the ring, you just pair it up and then you just put in your details like your name, date of birth, your weight, etc. And then that just obviously builds up your profile. And then after a couple of weeks of building up stats, it knows a bit more about you. What's really good as well is you can go into your calendar and you can just pick up any random day and see your stats. So you can see there, I started wearing the ring on the 20th of May, right through June, into July. The battery ran out on the 5th of July. I never realised because I didn't look at the app. It's one of my minor gripes. You just don't know. It's silent, doesn't vibrate. So you don't know when the battery runs out unless you go in the app. So if I pick a random date, go for the 12th of July. We'll just dismiss that at the moment. So I've got my movement that day. Calories burnt, total steps, movement. My sleep, you can go back in and have a proper look at. There's your sleep pattern as well. Very similar to the say likes of a Fitbit or your Garmin. Dynamic recovery. For Statos, we'll absolutely love this. And it's got my heart rate for that day as well. Which is quite low, that's normal for me. Around about 48, that's my resting. So to summarize, is the ultra human ring air the future? In some respects, I think it actually is. And I'll tell you why. As much as I love my watch, it's too uncomfortable to sleep with it on. I sometimes get a rash that flares up on my wrist. And when I get home from work, I tend to just take that off anyway. Whereas the ring, it's really comfortable. Once you're used to it, you forget that it's there and it's recording the stats all the time. So that is a bonus. A uh, couple of gripes. Very minor is the charger is USB-C to USB-C. I don't have many chargers that are compatible other than my laptop. So it's a bit annoying having to fire up the laptop to charge the ring. Also, you can't use fast chargers as well because you could damage or limit the life of the battery. So always use something like a laptop to charge up your ring. That's also a little bit too long as well. Look at that, it's about a meter or so. <laughs> But yeah, other than that, they're just a very minor gripe. Obviously as well, you don't know when the, the, the ring needs charged up as well. It doesn't vibrate, it doesn't make any noises. So you have to be in the, the app daily. And sometimes I can go a few days without checking that. I just let it run and do its thing. But yeah, other than that, I really like it. I'm going to continue to use this. So if you've got any questions, please let me know in the comment section down below. Otherwise, I'm going to wrap this up and I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.